Well, welcome once again to Start It Up. This is the video series where we talk to entrepreneurs about their ideas, ideas which could be the next big thing. And with me is Peter Crow to talk about pig. Is okay. pig going to be right. the next big thing? Uh, we think so, actually. We do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. tell me, so pig. This is P Y G G. Why, why the why the why the name pig? First That's of all? right. When when the business was thinking about how to position itself in a peer-to-peer -peer, um, payment space. It, it heard that um, a thousand years ago in the Middle East that people used to have a clay jar where they put their valuables. It was called a pig jar. Mm. And over time, that, that turned into um, coming to Europe and people started a name, um, putting their valuables in, when their coins in, became a piggy bank. But right. It originated from um, the PYGG. Right, okay, so PYGG was the, sort of like the original spelling, yeah. then, was it? Yeah. All right, okay. So the idea, so the, and this is like a payment system, but it's not, not a savings system, it's more of a peer-to-peer -peer payment system. That's right, peer-to-peer. -peer. So um, there's three sorts of groups that we think that we can help with peer-to-peer. Um, -peer. There's, there's people when there's a trust relationship, your work colleagues, your family, where you need to be settling the social debt that's created. I'm going to go out and do a coffee run. Do you want, do you want to get a coffee? Well, here's some money, simple and easy. Don't have coins on me. Splitting lunch where you know I, I didn't bring my wallet. I don't have the change, or just friends don't take credit cards. So settling that, and then there's another layer which is that um, quasi merchant where there's a lot of people doing things for you in a merchant sort of space, but they don't have merchant facilities. You don't take credit card, or they don't take credit card, so you can use Pig to make to make payments as well. Right, and so let's go through this then. So you, we go out for lunch. We go yep. half share in the lunch. Yep. Uh, you pay for it in cash. That's right. Uh, I, we've both got our pig accounts. Yep. I say I'm going to transfer some money into your pig account. Yep. Uh, how do you get it out of your pig account, or does it sort of like stay there as this, uh, this, this yeah, there's, other there's currency? Uh, it's it's going a, f a few ways. One is the, to make that payment is, is um, simple and fast. We've really positioned around the mobile as well, so you've always got the ability to make that payment on you because you've got apps or you've got the mobile browser. Um, so making a payment to you or, or me um, either way takes a second. The money's in your account. You know it's done. Now that's in, in if your friends, you're not worried about your friend paying you back. What you're often worried about is I forget to do it. I have to go and do it later on. So acting in the moment is one of the things that Pig's great for because you've got your phone on you. Mm. When you d maybe don't know so much, you can um, send some money to someone who who may be at the edge of your um, network or whatever. Um, and then you know that's done, and they know it's done as well. So th that's um, simple and effective. Um, generally, people have a little bit of a float in their account. So we're mostly about small payments, 5, 10, 20, 50, that sort of stuff. So if you have a $20, $50, $100 float in your account, more than enough money for you to be receiving funds and, and giving funds. You can right. put money in easy at any time with um, PayPal or a credit card, and you can take money out by sticking into your bank account. Um, um, pretty easily as well. So you can do all that on your mobile phone, you can do that on your browser at work, um, getting money in and out and making those payments. We've really worked hard to make it simple and easy. Right. And did you do much research to find out whether there was the demand for this? It's, it's, I guess it's one of those things, isn't it? It's hard until you've done it. I mean, it's sort of like, that, oh, that seems like a good idea. Yeah. But there's a risk if you're saying, well, that seems like a good idea, because yeah. you don't know whether people really, really do want it or yeah. not. Yeah. I think that's part of what startups are about, is that you can sit back. You know, uh, people who are big into the space, sit back and crunch the data and move slow. Mm. In, when you're an innovator or in, when you're an entrepreneur, often in the beginning you go on gut. You go, there's a big market there. There's a lot of friction there. I think we can, I can, I think we can occupy a piece of that and we can make the lives of our customers better by implementing a great product. And you learn along the way. So if you're not learning and learning fast, you're not a great startup or you're not a great entrepreneur. So We've certainly been in that space too. Right, I was going to say, so have you learned a lot? Has it, has it, has it evolved much from the, from the initial idea? It has. Um, we started out being, um, one of the starting points was all around the concept of social payments. Um, and Twitter was a big part of that. It got us some great buzz in the beginning. It was a really simple way to make a payment, um, make it by va making a tweet. But what we're seeing is that everyone has a mobile phone on them. That, that um, the mobile number or your email address is for the, a majority of Australians a much clearer identifier of them to their peers than um, a Twitter handle is. So we're moving more to being mobile than social, although we're, we're totally social because it's mostly around P2P or friend-to-friend -friend payments. Right. So I mean, if you're tweeting it, I mean, it's, I mean, everyone would everyone would know. That yeah, that and that was part of again, that was part of the logic at the time is that the social aspect, the bragging rights around it. So right. we see that some people actually don't like that. They'd yeah. much rather know that the, we went out to lunch or had a few beers to be a private matter. Now, so um, we've modified the product so you don't um, 
broadcast these things all the time. Mm. But then now we're seeing that some people want to broadcast that. We went and had some celebratory beers. I want to tell my mates, I, made, I paid you 50 bucks for all the beers we drank last night, and I want to shout out about that. So the social aspect is an important part of what we're doing. We're in the payment space, but we're absolutely not, not like the institutions or the banks. We're trying to make this simple, fun, and easy. Um, and so that, that when we think about how to, the problem to solve, we put that sort of lens on. And I think that makes us different from all the others that are out there because payments is a, a super big space, but it's mostly merchant orientated. In the pure peer-to-peer -peer space, no one's, no one's doing anything like what Pig's so, doing. So do you think that is the case? You've got, you've got, you own this, this sort of, because it's like social micropayments, I yep. guess is the way of describing yep. it. I mean, is there no one else doing that? It seems like a, uh, the banks or anybody who's offering micropayments would say, yep. well, social micropayments seems like the, the obvious evolution from that. Yeah, uh, the banks, if they don't do it now, they'll all have the ability for you to pay anyone anywhere sort of concept. Mm. Um, but it's one thing to say you do it and another thing to do it um, simple and effective and easy and fun. Yeah. And so we don't banks have... Banks aren't always good at that. And th that's not their core competency, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, they have to go through an inordinate um, hurdles inside to be able to do something. Their innovation timelines are really, really slow. They come with a fraud and... and um, uh, risk perspective. They ha they look back and what's it's doing to the historical base. We've got the future to look forward to, and and we can focus on that. And that certainly makes us a different style product and a different style business. Yeah. And we're bank agnostic. So most banks will say, "You're a customer of mine. You can do something." But but everyone's just a customer, somebody where we don't have any of that baggage to worry about. Everyone can use us. Um, everyone can send payments to anyone anywhere in Australia. Um, and that's one of the appeal, I think. So I would have thought the biggest obstacle in all of this, so presumably in, in terms of payment, people pay for, pay for the service, they mm -hmm. pay a subscription model? No, they, they, pay, they pay to get some money into their pig account, right. and we make a, a bit of income on the float that's created as a result of that. But all of these transactions that are, that are made between friends and, and, and colleagues and, and even um, the merchants, quasi-merchants, there's no fees there. Right. So your, so money, that's part your of the money is deal. coming on the transfers. That's right. right. So, so the vast majority of transactions that are occurring are, free. are obviously yeah, um, between, are between people and free. Yeah, okay. So, but for it to work, you've got to get quite a, a sizable number of people. So for, right. for, it, for it to work, we've both got to be on pig. That's right. Uh, and I've got to know a lot of other people who are yep. using pig as well. So yep. how do you get... I mean, it sounds like a great idea, but yep. it's one of those ideas that it, it won't work until you've got that set number of people. You know, yep. you've, you've, you've reached that point. How, yep. how do you reach that point? And yep. are, you, are you there yet? Or oh, no, it's, it's still, you know, we've been going for a little less than a year, so it's still very early days. Growth rates are fantastic, um, but one of the things that is built into the product is the virality of it. Mm. Um, with normal payments, it's just a done once, you know, I go and buy a coffee, it's, it's done. There's no relationship going on there. With Pig, um, someone who has Pig, generally they start loving it, and then they want to make payments to people because they know how simple and effective it is. To be able to make a payment, that then signs up the other person, and on and on and on it goes. Um, so Pig, by its nature, is very viral. Um, yeah. So we need to kickstart it, but then the virality starts to give it the momentum. And I guess it's got to be easy to sign up as well. So it is, and, it's, and it's super easy to sign up. Right, so yeah. uh, over a lunch conversation, when we... With that sort of rush to pay the bill at the end yep. and then say, well, why don't you do it on pig? Yep. I don't know how to do that. I could do that while I'm sitting there That's waiting right. for the bill to arrive. Yep. And right. the, one of the other things that um, is effective about pig is that if um, I have an account and you don't yet, um, we're at lunch, I say, what's your mobile number? Punch it in, bang, you get an SMS and the money's there waiting for you. Right. So you can, go and, you can go and create your account later on, but we've settled the social debt. Now, if that's in a, in a trusted environment, I know I can just walk away and it's sorted. If, it, if the trust isn't there yet, you know that the payment's been made um, because you've got the SMS to confirm that, the, 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 that there's money in your account as soon as you go and create it. Right. So that is as simple as me opening, opening, the, um, opening the app, sending you an SMS, and yeah. the money's there. Okay. So a hell of a lot easier than making yeah. a PayPal payment, that's for sure. That's right. So that's, again, part of the appeal. And, and we think that still better, we can do better, right? Mm. Uh, make that um, shorter, the sign-up process shorter, the to make it simpler because, again, the virality is very important. We want to make it um, simple and easy. Right. Well, let's see what people think because you can, of course, vote. Just uh, use the voting panel, which is below the video here on ZDNet. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you for your time. Thank you.